In this video, we're going to complete example three, and we're going to use Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree for the graph below. Now, when you use Prim's algorithm, it's all about focusing on the vertices. Now, we need to start somewhere. You can pick any vertex you want to start from. I'm going to start at vertex D just because I can see it's quite close to some short edges here. Now, what you do is you look for the shortest edge that connects to this vertex, and that is the number two. So we're going to go along there, and it's going to join us with vertex C. So we've now got two vertices that we're focusing on, C and D. What is the shortest edge connected to these vertices? Well, they're all connected to edges of length three. So you can pick either one of them, doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to connect along to vertex G this time. Now we're focusing on three vertices, C, D, and G. What is the shortest edge we could see connected to them? Well, G is connected to a three. Three is the shortest edge. I now have four vertices that I'm focusing on. And the shortest edge I can see, there's two of them, uh, is still the number three. Now, it can't be this one here. I'll just draw it and show you because that makes a cycle. So I'm going to rub that out. I can't connect that one. Um, but I can connect the C to the B. And after doing that, I now have one, two, three, four, five vertices that I can focus on. What's the shortest edge we can see here? I, I can see a four, but that's going to make a cycle, so I can't do that one. So the next smallest is the five. So let's connect that to the A. We now have A, B, C, D, E, and G, the vertices that we are focusing on. And uh, the next shortest one that I can connect would be the six without making a cycle and now I have connected every single vertex. If this is the correct minimum spanning tree then it should all add up to 22. Let's let's actually check that. We've got six plus five, uh, we've got uh, three threes plus three plus three plus three and then a two and that adds up to 22. So we've got our minimum spanning tree. That concludes our video on example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.